Hi everyone, in this video I'm going through Erickson's psychosocial stages. First, we have trust versus mistrust. This is 0 to 18 months old. Infants learn whether the world is safe and their needs will be met. In this stage, success means hope. Secure attachments form the basis for trust in others and self. Next, we have autonomy versus shame and doubt. This is 18 months to 3 years old. Toddlers seek independence by choosing, doing, and saying no. Success in this stage is willpower. An over-controlling parenting style can lead to self-doubt and shame about choices. Initiative versus guilt. This is 3 to 6 years old. Children begin to plan and take initiative in play and social interactions. Success in this stage is purpose. Discouragement or punishment may lead to guilt and inhibition. Industry versus inferiority. This is ages 6 to 12 years old. Kids want to succeed in school and with their peers. Mastery becomes central. In this stage, success is competence. Struggles here may lead to feelings of failure and inferiority. Next, we have identity versus rule confusion, ages 12 to 18 years old. Teens explore their values, beliefs, and personal identity. Success in this stage is fidelity, which is a stable sense of self. Confusion in this stage could mean drifting, having unclear goals, or engaging in role experimentation without gaining clarity. Intimacy versus isolation is ages 18 to 40 years old. Young adults form close emotional relationships. Success in this stage is finding love. Without a secure identity, individuals may fear intimacy or avoid connecting with others. Generativity versus stagnation is 40 to 65 years old. Adults want to give back through parenting, mentoring, or creative work. Success means caring. Without this, people may feel stuck or disconnected from purpose. And last, we have ego integrity versus despair. This is ages 65 and older. People reflect on their life. Was it meaningful? Success means having wisdom. Regret or bitterness leads to despair and a deep fear of death. So that's it for today. Please like my video if you found it helpful and comment below to let me know what you want to see next. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Becoming a Therapist.